what's going on guys this is Jack from wikijackson.com today I have a little bit of a tutorial and just a comparison between the three different types of TNT within Feed the Beast Direwolf 20 well first off uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to get a nuke going and what it can do at maximum power and minimum power but uh, to get started I have the regular TNT which is in vanilla Minecraft and in Feed the Beast and then I have the industrial TNT so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the difference between these two so this is just the regular TNT let's see how much it can blow up alright so you see it gets a pretty big uh, you know a little hole in there in the ground not too big and then let's see what the industrial TNT can do. This is Industrial Craft 2. Now, the regular TNT needs um, redstone to get started. This does not. You can just hit it and it'll go ahead and just ignite like that. As you can see, I got them a little too close together, but it is a little bit bigger than the uh, regular TNT. It's not as deep, but it does get a larger radius of explosion. So that's what industrial TNT does. Now let's go ahead and get this nuke going at minimum capacity or power. So to get a nuke going, you need uranium-235, industrial craft 2, and you need at least one block of industrial craft. You can place it in any of these squares and it'll just make, make a little circle around it like that. And to get it going, I believe, you, yeah, you can't hit it. See? So you have to redo it. Now I have to get a, I have to get a, a whole other setup here. But I have uranium 235 and industrial craft uh, TNT. So then to set it, to set it off, you just could do a little redstone like this, trigger like a little button, boom, let it go off. This is at minimum capacity for a nuke, and it takes. I don't know, like 10 seconds to get going to actually like ignite. It just blinks like that for t 10 or so seconds. And then boom like that. See, it's not even that big. So if you want to use nuke at com complete full capacity, you're going to need 64 uranium, 235, which I have here. Oops. And 64 industrial TNT. And we can go ahead and see just what this nuke at full capacity capacity will do. So you see these? See these three little things here? That's you know that's that's pretty big for you know TNT. But uh, let's see what a nuke can do. So this is like the ultimate tool to like troll your friends if you like want to blow up their house, which. I've done to my partner Jacob uh, in our Feed the Bee series, but of course I it was a trick, so he thought I blew up his house, but it really wasn't. Anyway, so what you do is you set all one whole stack of uranium in here in the middle, and then one stack of industrial TNT, and it'll it'll just make a circle around it, which I stated earlier. To ignite it, you just right-click on the button, and I'm just gonna delete it so you could just see the entire explosion. So, remember that that was with uh, the minimum capacity nuke. This is maximum capacity. So let's just see. It. At first, nothing happens, but then you let it sink in a little bit, and there you have it. That is a nuke, a nuclear bomb. A little bit bigger than these uh, three back here, just a little. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Now, there's something else you can do with a nuke, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you in a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, this is what I again. This is the nuke at max capacity, and what I've built here is a TNT cannon which will be able to shoot a nuke. So, 
like I said again, if you want to troll your friends, you could make this TNT cannon and launch it like straight at something that they've been working hours and hours on. Of course, of course, you don't if you know if you don't want to mess with your friends, and if you think that uh, they've been working really hard on something, don't do it. Obviously. Now, if you want to learn exactly how to make this TNT cannon, uh, you can go to my friend ZZ Deagle 545 ZZ. Uh, he is a YouTuber and he creates a lot of good Minecraft tutorials on how to, you know, use redstone and TNT cannons such as this. So he does a lot of gameplays like we do. So you can check him out if you want. Now, in the, his tutorial, he plays vanilla Minecraft and he doesn't really have, obviously the Feed the Beast mod packs. So, I decided to s do a little experiment with regular TNT and the nuke and to see if it would launch it. And after a few trial and errors, I think it will in fact launch a nuke. Now, since nukes take very long to uh, blow up, we're going to have to do a little reverse um, engineering here with the uh, explosion of, or the uh, timing of the uh, TNT cannon. So again, let's fill up this nuke. You can just shift click and it'll put everything in its place. Now what this will do is when you push this button, all these will light up and it'll shoot the nuke however far this baby can shoot it. However, we're going to go ahead and uh, push this first to get the nuke li lit up. Then we will go ahead and light the cannon and watch it shoot the nuke. So there it goes. Get to go find it now. But as you can see, it will launch it pretty damn far. Just in time, the nuke has just blown up and I got here right on time. And there you have it. A nuke cannon. First of its kind? I hope so. And you'll be able to use it whenever you'd like. So there you have it, guys. Please make sure to like this video up if you liked it. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Our, our little cannon blew up there because of the nuke. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you like videos like this and you could get notified whenever we release a new video to you guys. Uh, comment down below if you have any suggestions for future videos and please be sure to visit wikijackson.com for more information. Thank you guys and there might be more like this in the future.